Good day everybody, it's Kalinara here and welcome back to Dimbleweed Park. So here we are with our lady here, who is actually our main subject suspect in the murder case. That's quite interesting. Let's go back to our room, I think. It was up here, wasn't it? That's not our house, sorry. Uh, wasn't this our house? Yeah. So... Yeah. I can't open that. I mean, I wanted to use it, but whatever. The mucus phlegm modem number. So now we are applying for the job. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? I think we should give our very full first name. Thank you. What is your address? How am I supposed to... Ah, I just need to get like the right way to put it in. I don't know. This one? I guess. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Hmm. I don't know anything about things like this. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay. First question. This is an easy one. Next question. Oof, I don't need. One. Okay, I don't need to answer the things. Good. Hmm, a little harder. Ah, debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch, this is going to take some thinking. Got it. Exclusive ore. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. That's cool. So, is that our application? That's a cool printer, though. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Yeah, but let's go see who is ringing the bell. Go through. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Who are you? Sounds like hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. <laughs> That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. No one says stuff like that. Okay, dial in with modem and fill out. Uh-huh. 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 Cool. Should we go get our... the uncle? Oh, this is the kitchen. Interesting. Is there anything in the fridge? Broken bottles of ketchup? Why do you have shot stuff? What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those bottles. Old... Why do you have old batteries in here? They look pretty old. I think I see mold growing on one. But why do you have batteries in here? Looks good enough for a snack. We just... We don't need anything from here. Sink, couple, couple. I don't think we need anything from here. Hmm. 
The fireplace looks very clean. Cool. Actually, is there anything cool in here? Ooh, what's that? This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Cool. Actually, can we, um... Uh, um... Can we... Text and speech? Display text. English, yeah. That makes stuff easier, you know? Wow, you can look at all the books. Don't say that's going to be something that we need to do. There's a sign there. Better read it first. Uh, look at sign. It says out of order. How are stairs out of order? Oh well. Let's continue with our stuff. Actually, is there anything cool in here? There's so many rooms in here. Like, seriously. How many freaking rooms are there? Like, you can walk around forever, basically. Okay. It's a door. Psst, thanks for that. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy-tronics. Come on, plush toys are cool. What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? Okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 08 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Uh huh. Right. There's no way I'm. To my uncle Chuck. There's no way I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to escape and become uncle game Chuck, game developer. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. So what's in it? You don't want to tell? Okay. Look at the robot. It's a defunct robot prototype. Cool. I don't think there's anything else we should do in here. I mean, there's probably is, but I don't care. Let's look at the other rooms. Because there's so many rooms. Have to keep going. Wow, that's cool. This is so cool. I love this place. <laughs> That's just so fun. <laughs> Where does this one take me? Feeling my way along. That's just so cool. I want a house like this. Anyways, no, not the hall. My room. Let's go back to our room. Here we go. Let's look at the AC chart. 
It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. Cool. Anyways, let's look at the Printatron. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. Yeah, but you weren't able to print anything on that. I can't open that. Yes, you can. There's no need to sleep right now or anything. What's that? It's a red gel decoder. Yeah, but what does it do? Let's pick it up. What else should we... Hint line. What does that mean? I just want to look around all the things. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at 4468. Hint line? That's very strange. No, thank you. Mm. So, dial in with modem and fill out Mucus Flem job application. Dial in with the modem. Graphic <laughs> basics. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready no, to don't, the application. Don't make another blank paper. Oh, there's no paper in the Printron 3000. Okay, so use blank paper on Beat Printatron. There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Why do you have only one piece of paper? Anyways, need, we need to find some ink. Where do we find any ink? Is the problem. I wonder if we take some wood from out. What are you doing? Let's talk to him. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Why would you be doing any of that? But anyways, this is why I came here. I don't need any firewood. Fine. Can I go... Can I go out? I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Mansion, mansion. I can't leave the mansion, mansion yet. Mansion, mansion. Okay, there's nothing to do outside. This I just clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Maybe it looks familiar because you live in here. Let's go back to the kitchen. Let's see if There's any nothing inside except an empty glass. Let's see if any of There's nothing inside. Let's see see if any of these have There's nothing inside. ink in here. There's nothing inside. Oh boy. There's nothing inside. We are going to hear that a lot. There's nothing inside. Do you mean to open the fridge tracer? There's nothing inside. Let's pick this up. I don't feel like the taste for non-trainmark infringing poopsie now. Well, let's just have it there then. Open. I meant this. There's nothing inside. 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 Okay, I stopped that. Hmm. Mm. Pretty clean, considering. Let's take the glass. I can't open that. I meant to pick up the glass. Then use glass on faucet. The glass is now filled with water. Cool. I don't know what we do with that, but uh, close the faucet. 
because that would make me very annoyed. Carefully handling broken glass. I don't know why I picked it up, but I did. Also the hot sauce. It could be useful. I don't think I need the lettuce and the cheese. Even though there are stuff I can pick up. Could I use the hot sauce as ink? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? It said something about a modem, but I haven't seen a modem anywhere. Flask of extreme chili sauce by Brian H. J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. That sounds cool. Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. It's a glass filled with water. It's a can of poopsie. It's a red gel decoder. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. Damn good thimbleberry pie. I don't think it would be hot anymore. To be honest. It's been in your pocket for a while. Anyways, let's go back here. Maybe we can do something with our uncle. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, do you have new printer ribbons? Do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons. I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Oh, that was easy. Wait, did we get any? We didn't even get any. Anyways, let's keep on talking. Oh, my favorite niece. Uh, you should be nicer. Be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning. I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. I don't really care for pillows. Uh, my dream is to become a game programmer. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Ooh, so you can't say that. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you. Ah, uh, you can't actually say that. That's so sweet. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, but how do I get the the uh, ink stuff? Re-ink the ink thing. Where does this stairway go? It goes not nowhere. It just looks cool. And it was probably not even a stairway. Whatever. Let's go back to our room. How do I get the ink, ink cartridge from... Ah. I just uh, pick up and... Printer ribbon. Use to this. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. Come on, you could very easily do that. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. Come on. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. You could do that very well. Look at the vacuum tube. It's an LFG one nine eight two tube in perfect condition. You think I understand something about that? Anyways, we need to find ink from somewhere. Maybe from our uncle? Because he said he re-inks the ribbons. So if I were to give this to Uncle Jack? Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. I just wanted to you to 
Ah, there's ink over there. Use print the ribbon on ink. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. Really, but it is ink. It's a bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink, and it smells awful. Warning: contents highly flammable. You must be kidding me. <sighs> That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. That's just stupid. That's just very stupid. Okay, can we now? A freshly inked printer ribbon for my uncle's Printron 3000. Cool, cool, cool. Let's put it in. And now let's print the thing. Use. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Yay, we got it. I always like to watch this part. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Why can't real printers be like that? Anyways, let's go take this to the mail. Quickly walking down the stairs and out we go. Oh, you're digging again. Cool. Use leather on Meltron. How exciting. I hope I get the job. Okay, we don't have to wait the five days. Whoa. Hi Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh, Good luck. See ya. Diggin. Diggin. Okay. Look at the letter. Letter from Mucus Flem. Did I get the job? How do I ah uh, open? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Let's go in. Dig Let's go in. Also, that guy is still digging after what five days. Come on, go in. Okay, let's open. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. Come on. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Just open it. Just open. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Yeah, yeah, so just read it. Come on. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of dad? <sighs> Just open. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yay! It's a job offer from Mucus Flem to be a game programmer. I'm so excited. Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But... Do you really think so? <laughs> She's moonwalking. <laughs> Sorry, this is on the way. Sorry. My bad. Okay. Now she's an Egyptian. Moonwalking again. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Stop it, please. I beg you. Oh my. Please stop it already. That's just awkward. Are those really your best moves? I mean, I guess this is from 80s. Like the setting is in 80s, so I guess that's your best disco dance. Oh god, stop it. Stop. Please, I beg you. Thanks. Okay, let's go and talk to our uncle, who will get so angry at us because he wants us to be a pillow factor owner. Let's talk to him. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, Uncle Chuck, great news. 
Yes, Dolores, what is it? My dear future leader of Pillar Oh, Six. God. I, uh, here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillartronics to be, uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillotronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. I knew this is what's going to happen. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. I don't Stop think her so. Before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. I don't really think that she is the suspect, though. But who knows? Anyways, I guess this is a. Uh, Good moment to leave this episode here. I hope you liked it and bye bye.